In this video, we're gonna compare the Apple Watch body fat scale to a DEXA scan. Because the DEXA scan is the quote unquote gold standard. The DEXA scan is not the golden standard. The gold standard is an autopsy, but today I don't wanna to have to do that to you today. <laughs> I got three friends with me to test it out today. This is Mike, a fellow YouTuber and cold brew addict. So, he has a yes. very low percentage body fat, very sexy man. So we brought him here today to see if he's actually at zero or one percent. And my next best friend over here is Tejas. He's also a very good looking gentleman as well. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna head inside this medical center and we're gonna go upstairs and check in. And then we're gonna do the DEXA scan. We gotta get fully naked and they're gonna scan our entire Wait, body. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, how else are you gonna maximize the accuracy? Actually, this how does the camera look? Blur it out. I better be under 20%. <laughs> the goal. What percent do you think the DEXA scan will say for you? Like 12, 11. 12, 11? Yeah. Okay. I think the DEXA scan is going to say like 15. 15 for you? Yeah. I'm just hoping under 21. So this is the Aura strap, A-U-R-A, -A, and how it works is you put it on your Apple Watch and it's kind of like a single strap and it's got yeah. these electrodes to measure your body fat. So to kind of switch it out, I don't like wearing it all the time. I like, I prefer this just because less there's holes in it it's more breathable so if I want to measure my body fat I need to put this on my Apple watch to use it so that's a friction point for me personally if you kept it on all the time you can measure it daily but I'm scared I'm gonna scratch these diodes but that's kind of how you sw swap it out you know the Apple watch bands are relatively easy and I can like switch it out in the morning if I want to and now it's back to a regular Apple watch so we're in the room right now. This is the DEXA scan unit here. And one thing to note is like, you need to make sure that you're doing the same DEXA scan machine and you drink the same amount, ate the same amount because the data can be different. So that's fan fasted, it's in the morning and we're coming back to the same location I've done before. So that way we can really correlate the trends in the data. Is it more accurate if I do it without the shirt? No, nope, it shouldn't affect anything. Okay. Clothing as long as it's- As long as it's not metal? Yeah. Okay, you can lay down with your head here and your feet down that way. For all the guys that are a little bit bigger, just letting you know, I'm gonna have to kind of squeeze you in, okay? Okay. I've only ever used body fat percentage trackers on like the scale that I have back at home or like Shervin from the past here, I'm about to weigh myself. Ah, I'm not a part of the 200 club anymore. 14.8% body fat. Come back to the future. In body tests. So I'm actually very curious to see what the DEXA scan has to say compared to an in body test because the that one says I'm at 21%. DEXA sometimes guesses it right. But the change between one to the other is precise. So you should look at the change. If you go in a month and it's 14.5 or 19.5, like that's accurate, right? It's the changes between that. So if you want to spend $200 every month on a DEXA scan, <laughs> then go for it. The Renfo scale on Amazon for 20 bucks. Has actually said I'm at 12%, so I'm not even gonna recommend that. 12 and a half percent body fat. We can get description. <laughs> it's, it's wrong. So um, the table will shift around, as will this arm here, so don't let that startle you, okay? Results are most accurate if you lay as still as possible. You can breathe normally, but try not to shift around throughout the okay. scan, okay? Right. So you'll be on the table for seven minutes, I'll be outside the door if you need anything. See you in a bit. Yeah, results are right here. <laughs> okay, let's share with the end. Let's share with the end. Okay, so the interesting part is because I already did the test like six months ago when I did the I Quit Sugar video, it's giving me trends. Oh. So the graph. The your goal is what, under 15? I thought I was going to be 15%, yes. Okay. Okay, don't say anything. I don't think don't you don't are. <laughs> How are you feeling, Paige? Are you nervous? What's 30? 30% of my body's bad, like... How do you feel about that? That's more than like... Like my legs are happy. <laughs> the amount of radiation you get in there is the same amount as a flight from here to California. <laughs> More useless facts, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Aura app. It measures my body fat using this little wristband here. It says I'm 14% from this morning. I'm gonna retest myself. And this is how it works. Go to the app page on my watch, open the Aura app here. And then I'm going to stand up and I need to put it on my palm and make sure my, hand, my elbows aren't touching my body. Here we go. And now if you look on the top, it's gonna to say keep holding your hand on the device. Do not touch the other hand. Don't touch me either. Keep your hands from your chest. And now I just wait. 
So now it says completed. The docks are full. It's going to update my measurements there and on my watch. It's going to say I'm 14% body fat, 47% muscle mass. 47% muscle mass? Category jacked. Yeah, 97 pounds of muscle. I think I'm actually I'm actually at 106 pounds of muscle, supposedly. So this is definitely off. <laughs> yeah, just get it. Make sure it's tight. Yeah, it's tight on me. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So give the aura shot to a guest. Now stand, stand up. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. All right. So this is guest mode. Now start. Start and do the same thing I did. Take your parameters to take a measurement. Right. Okay. So you're gonna press the palm against palm, right? Do you see that part? This part of your palm needs to press up against that metal. Like this part? Yeah, and then make sure that you don't touch okay. each other because it's going to send electricity through you. To measure Radiation? Your yeah, yep, and now it's going to stop measuring. Yep. There you go. Can you put an animation on me where, like, the electricity's coming? <laughs> oh, oh. <gasps> okay, don't close the app. Wait, let's see your data. What does it say? Can you slowly yeah. scroll? It says that you are obese. <laughs> You have 25% body fat, 40% muscle, 55% water, 1% visceral, 14% protein, 75% lean, 4% minerals, 23.8 BMI, 166.2 body weight. So how do you feel about that? This says you're 25% body fat. Does that make you more or less nervous? I'm so nervous now, dude. 25, like a quarter of my body is just fat. Yeah. 45 minutes. <gasps> Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Oh, no, it's not what I expected. <laughs> not what I expected at all. Is it higher or lower? No, no, don't say anything. Don't say anything. We'll, we'll do the review. It's, but it's interesting. It's interesting. <sighs> I'm really interested to see what it says for me. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, say again? <laughs> I'm happy, okay. but I'm interested. Put this on. Okay. So we're gonna turn on guest measurement mode. Ooh, it's next. Tingling. Oh shit, it's on? Okay. Um, your fingers are not touching, right? Avoid mm -hmm. touching anything else. And then measurement. So now, do it. Yeah. Stay, remove stay, hand from stay. contact. This is remove hand from contact. Okay, remove. All right, don't do anything. All right, so this says you are 10% body fat, 48% muscle mass, 65% water, 1% visceral, 70% protein, 90% lean, 8% minerals, 22.8 BMI. Your weight is 163, 10%. So you're on the jacked section, slightly towards worth. Is it accurate? Well, based on that, six. Six percent off. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Why are you like so sad? Are you okay? Tages is like so extensively <laughs> looking at his thing. That's either great or terrible. I'm just trying to learn. <laughs> I'm wearing a CGM right here. There's a continuous glucose monitor. I can't remove it, and it does show on my DEXA scan x ray that, you know, it's there in my arm. But everything's fine. It still works, I think. And they said I was allowed to wear it. And now, we are going to see everyone's body fat percentage. Give me the paperwork, doctor. Body fat percentage. Mike Hanna, the Apple Watch, said you had 10% body fat. DEXA scan says you have 16.2% body fat. And you thought 15, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I thought 12. 12. Whoa. Wow. wow. Way higher than I expected. Yeah. On the Apple Watch strap, I had 14% body fat. 14%, so four more than you. For me, the Renfo said I was at 16% body fat, I think. And on my DEXA scan, it says 17% body fat. Wow. What'd you think you were at? 0.8 higher than Mike Hanna. That's I thought I was at uh, 16 or 15. I did lose about 2% body fat from last time. <laughs> Tejas, come on, you gotta give me the paperwork. Renfo said I was at 12.5% body 12 fat. 12.5. The Apple Watch Aura strap said you were at 25% body fat. Yes, yes. So that's way different. So we had 12% body fat on the Renfo, 25% body fat on the Apple Watch Aura strap. And the DEXA scan, the gold standard says, he reorganized the paperwork. <laughs> You are 29.4% body fat. What did you guess? But I wanted to be at like under 21. You wanted to be so under 21. Literally the margin of error on all of these things were like 10% <laughs> crazy. Absurd. So what we learned here is it is not accurate. Everything is way off. I don't know what to trust anymore at this point, but what we do know is that we are all sexy human beings. Watch my comparison of the cheap versus most expensive body fat scale and see how they're pretty much linked right here.